Hi, right, welcome to the Isis Oracle for January 19th, or whenever you find this. My name's Josh, and this is the Mr. Floyd's Channelings channel. We do have a card already pulled for Isis, the Pillar of Light. There we go, we'll center the card. All right, Descent of the Star of Isis. Beings of light and divinity are calling you now. They wish to connect with you more strongly, and you are being guided to strengthen your energy field to allow more of the divine light that seeks you to flow through you, body your body safely and into expression. Beloved Initiate, <clears throat> you are called to allow more divine energy and light to an emanate from your body to help build your light body so that you so that love and healing of the cosmic feminine energies of the star of Isis can descend through you, offering healing, light, and assistance to humanity, and setting your own heart and soul on fire with divine love and passion. It is suggested that you first build and strengthen your natural pillar of light within your energy body, like building a broad, broadband cable, so that you can receive energy transmissions into your being more easily. Without such preparation, it would be like trying to run high-voltage electricity through wires that were not equipped to handle it. Some fire and damage would occur, and the practice would not be safe or sensible. The pillar of light is the energy tube of pure white light that connects your soul star chakra above your head to the earth star chakra beneath your feet. The star of Isis will descend from above your soul star chakra, pouring in grace and light and healing power until it eventually flows like a river into your earth star chakra, blessing the earth through your body. The star of Isis, also known as Sirius, rests in a state of bliss, joy, and has soul presence of heart, great strength, and stunning spiritual light. This is the consciousness seeking to manifest more fully in service through you now, beloved initiate. You are becoming more and more ready to sustain such high vibrations. If you pulled the oracle of the Lady of the Stars as well, then you are encouraged to see this, to start this practice on a daily basis as soon as possible. There are higher frequencies waiting to connect more consciously with you for spiritual enlightenment healing and guidance, but you will need to preserve your energy for the connection so the energy can flow without undue stress, strain on your body. <clears throat> we only draw one card, <clears throat> just for time, because reading two of these would take forever. Once you start this practice, you will get a sense of how often, how often feels right for you. If you do this often, perhaps more than once a day, you may feel lightheaded or ungrounded, too hot, or cranky, or hormonal, or overheated inside or out of balance emotionally and just not enjoying the, your practice. Meditation will lead, the more quick, lead you more quickly into success. It is recommended that you attempt this practice no more than once per day and for several minutes at a time, building up to however long feels right for you. As you grow, you will feel the light descending and your body ascending more and more strongly into the physical body. At first, you may feel energy or you may, may not. And that is fine. This exercise will work and your awareness of it at a conscious level will grow with practice. You will also find like a, that like a, a better, better internet connection as you continue with the practice, your ability to be in conscious communication with your spiritual guidance, to channel healing and other spiritual activities such as meditation will be stronger, clearer, and easier, and more powerful. Remember to have mercy if you are using these abilities with others. They may not be used to the degree of electricity that is coming through you, and you want to facilitate good and not cause harm to the person you are helping. Stay in your heart and do not be attached to the powerful, to being powerful and allow the Divine Lady Isis to manage the power that flows from you to another by asking her help in unconditional love. Pillar of Light as the Stars of Isis Descends Rest quietly in a space where you will not be disturbed and close your eyes. Imagine deep beneath you in the earth there is a ball of radiant light. It rises up through your body, connects with your heart, and then flows out through the top of your head until it reaches a ball of radiant light hovering above your head. The light above your head begins to flow to your heart and continues until it reaches the ball of light beneath your feet in the earth. Allow this pattern of light ascending from earth to to the heart and out through the crown and descending from the crown to the heart and down into the earth to continue for several moments breathing easily as you intend this to happen. After a few moments you become aware of the light above your head 
at this time of at this time of a light beyond that it grows and radiates great love allow this light to descend a little towards the crown of your head and towards your heart allow as much or as little of this light as we wish to come trusting that its intelligence will flow with wisdom when you are ready imagine that the light beneath your feet is in the earth becomes like a magnet pulling the light that has entered your being from above deep in the earth breathe into your heart and when you are ready just open your eyes incantation for the pillar of light you can say this incantation at the beginning of your day for protection and growth and it is a good practice to say it after a difficult meeting or exchange with another where you feel some negativity may have been passed between you and you wish to be cleansed and centered in your own clear light once more. I'm going to show you the incantation. There you go. You want that? You can pause it or take a screenshot. Pillars of light burning bright, earth star below, soul star above, burn away all light that is not light, all that is not light. Transform all into unconditional love. Star of Isis descend. Your blessings and peace without end. Grace me now with peace and protection, completely embraced by divine perfection. All right, that's the Isis Oracle from Elena Fairchild for today. And uh, we thank you. Isis thanks you. Kuan Yin thanks you. White Buffalo Calf Woman thanks you. Archangel Raphael and St. Germain thank you. And we will be channeling probably tonight after work. Have a day as blessed as you are. Remember, Every single thing you do creates every single thing in your universe. Feel negative about parking? Good luck finding that parking space. Don't want to be in the store? Dislike the cashier? Watch you get a rude cashier. Don't want to deal with the cashier? Watch you get a rude cashier. There we go. All right. Love you. Everything you do creates everything you see, hear, and say. Love you. Stay awesome. It's Friday. Have an awesome weekend.